I think personally what the government could have done better is maybe lift the tariff of the raw materials for feed production so the feed would be more cheaper for us the farmers instead of um, that's almost like augmenting the problem making it um, better for the competition because the prices can now be less for the competitors and we are still with um, rising and increasing feed costs. Mm. So with the the, pla with the, the, the the plan that this, the cost of the baby chicken going up the end of this mm -hmm. month, feed and everything has gone up. Yeah. How uh, you... And they have been. Mm -hmm, it has been. So how you plan to cope with that kind of increase, given the competition that you'll face now? Uh, well, the prices will have to go up as well um, to secure a profit for the farmers. So... It's more a matter of how the consumers will react to it, you know. Um, and it doesn't seem, the going concern doesn't feel, seem very promising to me, provided that the government is even um, uh, making the prices less for the, I don't know, the competition. Mm. Yeah. How much do you presently sell a pound of chicken for? Two hundred and fifty dollars on average. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now with the increases you'll have to hike your price. Yes. Definitely. What are you looking at in terms of uh, about two, leveling out? Two and seventy. Two because seventy. It's a ten percent increase on um mm -hmm. feeding, chicken and so on. So probably about twenty dollars extra, two seventy or two eighty maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's a matter of um economies of scale as well. The more you produce are the more um, potential you have to make uh, a bigger profit. Mm -hmm. So I have to be seeking other ways to increase the crop size. I mean, this could be having 500. Um, just um, clearing out this one, 500 was in there as well. Mm -hmm. About 100 leave now. Mm -hmm. And I uh, have another coop somewhere else. So you have to be... It's a moving target, mm -hmm. you know? Because... Uh, you get comfortable with paying this amount for the feeding or you get comfortable with selling this amount, selling chicken for this amount and then uh, another price hike. Mm -hmm. So you you raise up to a thousand chicken right now? Up to fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Can you give me an, a breakdown of the cost involved? The expenditure? Yes, the expenditure, getting uh, these chicken to the point where you can sell them. Yeah, so for each set of chicken you'd have to pay about eighty thousand dollars that's each set of 500 you buy a little bit more like 550 you know because um for mortality rate um so that's eighty thousand for the chicken the feeding um it's like two thousand four hundred and odd dollar two thousand four hundred and about seventy or eighty dollars per bag of feeding and uh, each set of 500 chicken will eat around a hundred bag of feeding so that's like that is before they come to maturity? That's um, from day old through to maturity. So 500 bags? No, 100 bags for mm -hmm. 500 chicken. Mm -hmm. so it, the, the ratio is um, 5 chicken to a bag of feed for 6 weeks. And it, um, the time is 6 weeks. So you see how it evens out to a 100 bag of feed. So um, the expenditure for feeding is um, the highest. 240,000 so on and then water mm -hmm. because we don't have running water um we have to buy water from the river from the well down the road the pump i mean so i have to fill it like three times for the month mm -hmm. so that's like four thousand five hundred dollars and then uh electricity cost i have to the meat has to be frozen you have to set ice uh, yeah, so the expenditure is about 75%, 80%, 75 to 80% of the, I don't know, gross. Yeah. So, we could really use our hand. What do you think could be done now, from the government perspective? What would you, what would you tell the, 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 them to do? to help small farmer like you deal with the competition that you're about to face? 
Okay, well, um, like as I stated before, um, you could lift the tariffs off because, well, I presume there are tariffs on the imported soya bean, the corn, that kind of stuff. So you can lift the tariff off those, um, you know, so the feeding could be cheaper. Yeah, and then with the feed being cheaper, then we could supply the demands of the market, so then we would have to import less. 